Ever have to put this automatic um, defibrillator in a, in a child with some conditions? Yes, uh, defibrillators are uh, being used uh, more and, and more often, even in the pediatric population. Uh, uh, ICDs, or internal cardioverter defibrillators, are life-saving uh, devices uh, that can be employed for uh, a variety of reasons. Uh, what would be the most common reason to put one in a child? Uh, in a child or a young adult, typically the, the most common reason at, at this time is probably something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where uh, patients have thickened heart muscle uh, and are susceptible for having uh, ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation and, and dying suddenly. Are they born with this or they acquire it? Uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy most often is a uh, condition with which uh, children are born, and it's progressive. It gets worse with time. Uh, it has a genetic basis, so it runs in families. Uh, Untrophic cardiomyopathy uh, may be severe in, in some people in the family and mild in other people in the family. And so it may be difficult to pick up uh, initially uh, in, in some members. Uh, but other members may be severely affected and, and uh, uh, require a defibrillator to save them from the potential of having uh, a life-threatening arrhythmia. Other conditions that require defibrillators may be uh, the congenital long QT syndrome, Brugada syndrome, uh, and then there, we have a variety of patients who have undergone complex congenital heart surgery repairs and who develop other ventricular arrhythmias uh, that uh, necessitate placing a defibrillator. A defibrillator, although it is life-saving, is associated with some uh, uh, risks and side effects, and so the decision to place a defibrillator in any individual it has to be weighed uh, heavily uh, f uh, against the benefits and the risks for that individual. So not, uh, not all these patients who have these diagnoses require an ICD. And usually it's not one person's decision. It's a group of uh, specialists in the family get together and make a decision together. Is that true? Uh, typically. Uh, we, we discuss these things uh, together, and the family is always involved uh, in making these decisions. Uh, and uh, depending upon the circumstance, uh, you know, Sometimes these uh, defibrillators are more of uh, an elective thing uh, as opposed to uh, if a child presented with a cardiac arrest, uh, then there's very little room for negotiation uh, at that point.